Hi, and welcome to the 2017 Paper 1 Junior Start Higher Level. Uh, maths, it's question 14 we're on now. And just to say, I suggest you start the question by just giving it an attempt yourself. If you're stuck, you can always watch the rest of the video. And if you want the notes here uh, with the answers built in, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. Now this part 14, part A and C are marked together, which is unusual. Um, it's worth 10D, okay? Now, the reason I suppose they're put together is that they are similar questions, okay? So, we'll read through it here. The table below shows some information about regular polygons. Okay, now, regular polygons, uh, all the angles are the same uh, from each thing. So, something like a polygon like that. Okay, all the angles between are equal. Okay, um... These are shapes, we have said that. So number of angles in the polygon, it says three, four, five, and six. So it's going up by one each time. And they give you a, a trend here. Part A is some of the angles in the polygon. So if there's uh, three angles, okay, some of the angles uh, in the, the case is 180. In the next uh, polygon, number of angles in the uh, polygon there are four, uh, because 360, so there's a difference there of 180, okay. Now, if that trend continues, okay, next one would be 360 plus 180, to be 540. And then the last one, 540 plus 120, would be 720. Okay, now, so, see what party is asking. Now, the sum of the angles increases in linear patterns, so it's gone up by a steady amount, and the slope will be constant. Complete the column in the table above, showing the sum of the angles in each of the three shapes. Okay, so we've done that. Now, the answer to be built in there. Now, part C. Okay, we'll do that now and we'll come back to part B. Uh, complete the column in the table above showing the size of each angle in each of these shapes. Remember that each in each polygon, all of the angles are the same size. Now, you'll see what part C is. We'll be very careful to read it well. Um, I was getting stuck there for a second by not reading it. Complete the column in the table above showing the size of each angle. Okay, um, in each of these shapes. So in the polygon with uh, three angles, okay, the sum of the angles is 180, okay, so that's three, 180 divided by three gives you the 60. So the same thing there with 360 in four, 360 divided by four gives you 90, the 540 divided by five gives you 108, and the 720 divided by six gives you 120. Now, if I used to make a mistake in that question and like not read correctly, and you'll not be able to attempt it or attempt it incorrectly. So it's a good point, time to point out, make sure we read every single question and we read it well and understand it fully. And that's one of the reasons we go back over the paper at the end, to try to catch times where we made errors in our understanding, even though that might take time. Um, and you may not have time at the end of the exam, but hopefully you have. Um, that's what you should use the last few minutes for. So part B here, okay. Um, find a formula for the sum of the angles in a regular polygon with n angles. We're just using n instead of x here as our variable. Remember that these values follow a linear pattern. So we're giving you a hint here. Okay. And you see there, it's going up by 180 every single time. Okay. Number of stages here is the n. So n is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So I'll go straight to the answer here. Basically, you have here, you, know, you kind of have to work this through in your head. There's no real formula for this to, in order to fill in. Um, but if you see here that when, if your first polygon, okay, is n minus 2, so 3 take away 2 gives you 1, be your first, okay. And you're multiplying that by, by your slope, by 180, okay. If you, if you see that, does that work for all of them? So 180 multiplied by 4 take away 2. So 180 times 2, which is 360, so it works. Uh, 180 multiplied by 5 minus 2, which is 3. 180 times 3 is 540. The last one, 180 times 6 minus 2, which is the same thing as 180 uh, multiplied by 4, which gives you 720. So it's working for that one, okay, and that's part B. Now part B here is worth uh, 5B on a scale. Uh, part uh, D here is also worth 5B on the scale. That's a very similar thing, okay. Um, find a formula for each for the size of each angle in a regular polygon. Okay, so we'll see what can we make this work with. Okay, so first one here, 
Um, 180 multiplied by, now, remember, in this case, n is equal to 3. So it's, it's 180 multiplied by 3 minus 2, which is 1. So 180 multiplied by 1 is 180. Okay, divide that by your n is equal to 3. 180 divided by 3 gives you the 60. Now, it's hard to backwork that, okay, um, especially with no formula, in order to you know, just like fit in the missing variables and just work it out. If we look to the next one, okay, so how does, does our, for, our, our formula here work for all of them? So next was 180 times n minus 2, which is 180 times 4 minus 2. 180 times 2 is 1360. Then divide that by 4, and we get our 90. So it'll work for that. Uh, if you test it, it'll work for the last two. I have the example is the n is equal to 5, 1, just below. Now, it's worth taking time to go back over that and just um, see can you make the leap to see how the numbers are changing. Okay, it can be a struggle for some people, but for others, it's, it's, it's a skill that they have. If you're not getting that, don't beat yourself up, okay? Um, it's a very specific thing for each question, um, but hopefully, you know, on the, the day of the exam, you'll be able to cop what they're asking, if they're asking something of that complexity. Okay, that's question 14. Thank you and see you later.